Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to City Skylines Westbridge. Uh, this is our British style build here in Plan in, in Planko, sir? No, not at all. In City Skylines, force a habit, I guess. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to start working on our first big retail area and we're going to do a, a very British thing, which is a retail park. So these are areas that sort of sit a little bit away from the town, usually near a motorway junction, um, and they have uh, larger builds um, that sort of house larger stores, so things like um, department stores, uh, clothing stores, uh, computer equipment, all that kind of thing, so uh, actual British names, we have lots of things like Currys, um, Homebase, uh, you know, DA DFS, uh, you know, where they sell sofas, uh, settees, things like that. That's kind of what we're going to be doing today. Uh, also, uh, we're going to be doing some a little bit more work on the high, the sort of the, the this lower high street here. This is going to be actually be quite a small part of the the overall town once we uh, once we sort of envelop the place. We call this Lower West Bridge, and Upper West Bridge is going to be a, much of a bigger, uh, more of an actual sort of town centre, traditional town centre with a lot of uh, pedestrian areas. Um, so this is merely just like a high street uh, with some uh, sort of cheaper, uh, you know, post-war housing on. So, you know, we are going to have lots of different styles of housing. Thank you so much for the comments on episode one. I really, uh, really do appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, of course, please uh, go ahead and let me know by clicking on that like button. And if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, don't forget to subscribe. Did a little bit of work here to the, um, to the church. This video was recorded just before Park Life was released fully. And um, so there's still a few mods that we're missing. Uh, the big one being prop line tool, uh, still not working unfortunately. As of time of recording, um, the, the the guy who who looks after that mod, he he's away uh, unfortunately. So he's having well, not unfortunately for him. I'm sure he's having a lovely time, but uh, it's sort of the, the time has not worked out well for him. So it's going to be in about a week or so from release of Park Life before that one gets fixed, uh, which is why I'm kind of keeping away from some of the uh, more developed residential areas, uh, the, the sort of semi-detached ones and all that, because obviously I want to use the prop line tool a lot to do uh, hedgerows and things like that. So here I'm sticking to more of this kind of stuff. Here we're putting down a medical center. Um, again, I'm just trying to keep it. I'm using a lot of Google map references. A lot of it's coming from my hometown, actually, um, which is a place called Cannock in uh, the West Midlands. It, well, in, it's Staffordshire, technically. Just It's sort of on the, on the cusp of the two. And uh, so a lot of sort of references I'm taking from there. Uh, and then also just sort of in, in general, uh, you know, having a little look around Google Maps and just sort of randomly plopping myself down in the UK and just kind of seeing the layout of, of roads and things. Uh, and overall, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job. I, I think I'm... I'm I'm making life difficult for myself a little bit doing a British build because the assets are relatively limited. Uh, there's some nice little sets of houses here. The detail isn't great compared to some of the uh, newer stuff on the workshop. Uh, and obviously we've got quite a good load uh, set of shops and things like that. Apart from that, I'm going to have to start getting a little bit creative, I think, in what I use. Uh, one, of the, um, one of the assets I'm going to use later on is actually meant to be a Russian build. It's Russian... Um, uh, housing, uh, flat housing, you know, apartment housing, but it looks just like, uh, you know, a, a, again, a sort of uh, prefab uh, flats thrown up in the 60s in the UK. So I go and use them. Uh, I have to actually go back and take them out afterwards, and we'll talk about that a little bit closer to the time. But yeah, asset-wise, I'm having to be a little bit creative, placing some garages down here and there at the bottom of roads. Again, very sort of sort of thing you'd see uh, in these kind of uh, housing areas. You know, kids would sit there and play, uh, you know, football up against the wall and things like that. And pubs, pretty much every other street corner, I'm placing one of these awesome pubs because that's just that's just what we do here in Britain. We drink, <laughs> and uh, you know, we're not really want. We we have bars and stuff in the. Excuse me, in town centres, um, bars and uh, you know nightclubs and things like that. But uh, usually in these sort of higher residential areas, we have a, uh, we do have the traditional British pub. It's one of the it's one of the yeah, the few stereotypes I think we really hold on to, and uh, one of the things that we really sort of stick to. Occasionally, I'll just find a few buildings in the uh, in the asset list as I'm searching for stuff that work quite well on that residential estate. So every now and again, I just go and throw a few of those over, which is what was happening there. And uh, like I say, without the prop line tool, we are limited to just being able to use the fences that came with Park Light. Luckily, luckily they're pretty good. Um, but obviously, once we get part, uh, prop line tool back in the game, we'll be able to do a lot more uh, detailing when it comes to hedges. Uh, fences and then also a lot of uh, the decals on the ground will be able to make some of the junctions look a little bit more British we'll be able to add things like box junctions and uh, and things like that 
so that's going to be the plan and uh, I think there we go we move away now into uh, the main part of this episode then which is like I say going to be our retail park it comes off uh, the uh, the secondary motorway island there and um, we have another island sorry island even even in Britain, Ireland isn't that much of a used term. It's a very brummy term, that uh, Birmingham term, Ireland. Roundabout, sorry. Uh, so they've got the roundabout there, and then we have another one uh, coming in. Uh, really wanted there's a, there's a there's a sign that these retail parks have and if you're from britain you'll know exactly the sort of sign i mean it's a long t it's like a tall sign with uh, all the all the names of each of the shops on the way up i i didn't have one so for now i've thrown these down um i do actually find one on the workshop which is absolutely perfect exactly what i wanted it to be uh, these here these sort of larger billboard signs are a bit a bit more american now, we don't really have that kind of thing over here. Well, you get them occasionally on the sides of rows, but not really. Uh, the, the sort of very traditional American billboard, that is. So uh, the, they end up going away. And we end up having the, uh, like I say, the, the more sort of a, a British retail park sign. And I'm not sure whether it's on camera or not, but uh, yeah, have a lot of fun putting that in. So uh, here we go. Then, like I say, a retail park usually has a huge um, car park area uh, in the middle with all the sort of shops around it. Uh, they sometimes work a little bit differently. Sometimes they have some... Um, uh, multi-story car parking here we've gone for a relatively sort of flat area and we've got a couple of areas there for uh, trolleys and we place a few trolleys in again once i've got prop line tool i'll probably go back over those and actually make some proper rows of trolleys that are all sort of linked together where you have to go and put a coin in to get them out that kind of thing uh, and then we have a little bit of detail here i'm going to keep it relatively light because you know these places are more serviceable than anything else but they will have a bit of artwork maybe a few trees things like that so we find a statue that isn't incredibly offensive i, I need to go back and find a few more statues i, I downloaded a statue pack off the asset store and um, a lot of them were very sort of uh, mainland european lots sort of uh, large statues of men with mustaches uh, that we just don't really get here so <laughs> i need to go back and find some more interesting sort of artwork pieces um, so we place our first supermarket down it's going to be an asda uh, and then again another thing you find a lot in the uk is that usually next to a uh, premium su supermarket or, or just more of a standard supermarket things like asda tesco's uh, sainsbury's they'll also have a budget supermarket nearby uh, like an aldi or a lidl or a netto or things like that so we place down a lidl uh, just next to it as well and then it's still got to carry on working on this area, but here at the, uh, the end of the retail area, they usually end up going into a little bit more of an industrial area. You know, there's no, they're not going to have coal plants and things down there, but, you know, factories, the sort of places that will build a random little screw that's needed in a car manufacturer or something like that. You know, these places that you'll never even need to ever go to, uh, but they'll exist and they'll be, they'll be named things like KM, KM Tech and they'll be down there and they you know fabricators all that kind of thing so they usually uh, find themselves on the edges of, uh, of these sort of places and then we do a few other buildings they're a little bit more uh, American in style but again they kind of work here these are the sort of things that we've got an urban outfitters and a, I think the other ones are pharmacy these sort of things I was thinking back in the day I always remembered that uh, the retail park near me had a blockbuster on the corner and it was in its own sort of building like this it wasn't in one of the uh, the fabricated buildings that all the other ones just sort of bought into it had its own build and then also things like um, uh, Pizza Hut's or Frankie and Benny's they usually have their own buildings here as well so uh, that's one thing we don't do here actually is place many food outlets I might have to come back in and add a couple in because uh, usually these real retail parks will have a selection of food outlets and maybe like a, um, a cinema I think I do place down a cinema actually I think I place down an Odeon so next to that Odeon I'm gonna see if I can find like a KFC or a Nando's or something like that something very British that would be really good a Nando's actually that's that's I know Nando's isn't a British company but there was you know the whole cheeky Nando's thing was a was a big deal a little while ago uh, American people really struggling to know what the hell a cheeky Nando's was so um, uh, yeah that might be quite good here we've got a couple of times where we join I actually take that away I think I place it back in later on um, so even though they have the main entrance for these where the retail part where most of the uh, the customers enter from uh, they usually have one or two uh, other entrances as well that are usually used just more for um for service uh, vehicles uh, the one i'm thinking of specifically uh, this is so niche but i'll tell you because people always like to know where the inspiration comes from uh, is just at junction nine of the m6 uh, wensbury there's a as a a retail park that has an large ikea uh, that again was something we're going to add in an ikea and a costco but we'll probably place those in a second retail park these are these are everywhere in the uk so there's no reason why we can't have a couple of these um so yeah so there's a there's an ikea and you can come off the uh, junction nine and there's a, a main entrance in you go past a pizza hut or whatever but actually you can also get through the housing estate at the back as a second entrance it's very very small and it's not really signposted or whatever but you can actually get there if you want to and it's mostly for either locals to access the area 
area or um like i say service vehicles to get in there so it makes it a little bit easier than coming from the uh, from the main entrance so again as we come to the edge here by the motorway we have uh, a little bit more of sort of industry again you know car parts uh, mechanics uh piping um maybe like factory outlets uh, the sort of things where you'd find um, like doing off cuts of carpets that kind of thing uh, th these are the sort of buildings we have on the edge of these areas and then we have this larger area here where the motorway meets it that we're just going to use as like a like a, a larger um you know storage yard really for you know the deliveries coming in for for the buildings along here so we've got a few cargo buildings nothing major it's not going to be a huge sort of cargo warehouse or anything but just just a little bit of space for uh, these few buildings there's a there's a home base i think is one of the buildings there so it would have uh, larger areas that you know where they would store pallets and, and all different things like that so at the moment i'm still getting used to the assets i'm still finding out what a lot of them do so some of these are a little bit higgledy piggledy a little bit uh, you know don't really make sense but again this is a huge learning curve for me and i, I hope you're enjoying uh, the ride of me sort of figuring out this game and what it does uh, somebody pointed out in the last episode that you can use the uh, move up and down tool to to make the decals a little bit less uh, prominent uh, unfortunately this was recorded after i saw those messages so uh, i will go back and change that so thank you very much for pointing that out there was something else i was going to ask you uh, for help with and i can't remember what it was now i was building it and i was thinking oh I i'll have to ask the comments <laughs> to for an answer to that and i just can't remember what it was now I i'm sure i'll have a think and, co and come up with it later on uh, there's a few still there's a few assets i know that i need to try and find that i haven't got already one of those mostly being um uh, british traffic lights uh, would be really good because at the moment we have these sort of overhead ones that we just don't really get in Britain very often. Uh, usually the traffic lights in the UK are more sort of left and right side of the road. Here we've got a few food stands. Uh, these are the kind of things you might find uh, just to kind of fill in spaces like that. They'll, they'll, they'll separate little entrances. Uh, and then a few, like I say, just sort of random uh, buildings here that kind of fill in an area. There's an Odeon. I think there's a Toys R Us there as well, RIP. Uh, they recently all closed down in the UK. Toys R Us was a big... Uh, big uh, toy, toy shop basically so one of the problems i had with those is although we're not really playing this to to run well as a city it is more of a just a detailing making it look nice and um, i do kind of want it to flow a little bit well as a city and pretty much as i put all of those buildings down they all came up with uh, not enough staff no we we don't have enough people to work here and at first i thought it was just that we didn't have enough people in the building so i thought we would build an apartment uh, block area now uh, apartment blocks are obviously something we do have in the uk we don't really have them like this and pretty much as soon as i finished building it i wasn't happy with it it ends up all getting ripped out but again i wanted to leave it in because i want to show you guys the my learning process i want to show you guys how i'm sort of coming to terms with uh, you know what I have to do in this game and what I can do and uh, things like that and I'm going to show you the pause menu here for a good old while for some reason and then we're coming back so um, yeah apartment blocks we, we do have a few of them especially in the larger cities uh, they're yeah, again very sort of uh, thrown up builds in the sort of 60s and 70s uh, cheap places for people to uh, to come and live cheaply so i thought that was probably what the problem was here it turns out it isn't the problem was that we don't have enough educated workers because for some reason all of these um uh, these buildings require very educated people, uh, well educated, highly educated, all that sort of stuff, um, which isn't very realistic because in real life, the retail is usually people who, who who aren't very well educated. You know, will, will work in retail other than the sort of management system. For the most part, people on the tills and stuff uh, usually just have a high school. Um, um, education and that's no slice on them I've, I've worked in retail I don't have a particularly high level of education uh, so yeah that was a weird thing that I noticed after a little while it was telling me that it needed 50 people with a university degree to work in uh, in home base which is ridiculous <laughs> there probably are 50 people with university degrees in home base but that's not because home base requires a degree that's because there isn't any jobs for educated people in the UK right now um, but I did have fun trying to find some retail that goes underneath the um, the the apartments there it fits quite nicely and i actually think the areas turned out quite good it just doesn't look very british so uh, like i say this all get ripped out we are going to have a few apartment blocks but it's literally going to be two or three um in in certain areas really we're going to be doing but there you go uh, a little bit of a shorter episode today um hopefully we'll get a little bit more done in the next one next episode will have been recorded after park life has come out and uh, hopefully all the mods and things are sorted so thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give us a like it really does help out the channel and if you're not already don't forget to subscribe any thoughts queries or suggestions you can pop those down in the comments and if you fancy a chat you can find me on twitter i'm at johnty sparrow 
If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do that on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.